Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am going to be doing a fall, well it's not all fall, but a home decor haul today. I haven't done a haul in a very long time. I'm going to do this kind of standing up style, not in front of the camera, I'm sorry. Um, but I did want to show you what I picked up. I went to Hobby Lobby, Home Goods, Target, and uh, I think that's it. Oh, I went to um, Goodwill, but I can never find anything there. And I think I'm going to keep what I did find for the... Um, the fall $5 Goodwill challenge. So I'm gonna start off with the stuff that I got from Target. This was half off, so I picked it up. I did um, want this for my front door because I've been wanting some sort of wreath or something for my front door, but I haven't found one that I like, or I'll find one and it will be like $100, which, no. Um, so this one was half off, so it ended up being like six bucks. And I have um, like a door knocker I can hang from. So it's galvanized and it has scallop, you can see obviously. Um, it says welcome. So then I was skimming the pumpkin section because hello, I love pumpkins. Um, I don't like orange pumpkins, I'm a weirdo, I know. I like the neutral colored pumpkins and they didn't have very many of those. Um, actually, these two in the front are the only two that they had of these colors. Um, I did pick up some of those before, the little ones, and these were all 40% off. So whatever the price is, minus 40%. So if I got this little one. I showed you guys this one before. I have three other ones, and um, it kind of looks like it's painted, which I like. And then there's one that's a little bigger. I really like that one. And then I just got like a plain cream colored one because I think I'm putting this under my church pew because I have like an open space. Something's missing, so I think I'm going to tuck that one. And if I decide to put it there, I will show you what it looks like after. And then as I was checking out, I saw this, and if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know that Christmas tree is my favorite smell. I would burn that if I had a candle all year long. I would smell that smell. It's my favorite, so I picked this up for my car. I'm not going to wait till December. I'm going to put it in now. <laughs> I can always buy another one. I just love this smell. Actually, I was able to use a 40% off coupon on that, so it was cheaper than six bucks. So then this is the only one that I could find um, like this. It is a little salt and pepper caddy. It's galvanized and adorable. And this was half off, so it's like around six dollars. It comes with the salt and pepper shakers. Closes and opens like that. And it's so adorable. It's so adorable. I had to get this. I don't need new salt and pepper shakers, but that was too cute to leave. So I originally went into Hobby Lobby to get tags for my booth, and I know I haven't shown you guys yet. I promise it's coming soon. The problem is I'm having trouble keeping things in my booth, which is a good problem to have. Um, my, sp my dealer space, I mean. Um, but I haven't, you know, every time I restock, by the time I'm done moving everything around, I'm so tired and I don't think to pick up my camera, but I promise you I will show you soon. So I went in there to get stuff for tags because I have been using like the store's tags. I needed to get my own. So I picked up two packages of these little white tags and they were only $1.99 each. And then I bought this little stamp because I'm gonna kind of stamp the back. Um, and then I kind of, I wanna like make a logo for myself for my Instagram. But for now, I'm just going to um, like write at home with Jillian. If you follow me on Instagram, that's my Instagram name. I'm just going to write it like around the crown in um, Sharpie or something in like cute lettering. So I did pick up this little stamp and then an ink pad. The stamp, um, stamps are expensive. The stamp was $3.99 and the ink was $2.99. And this stamp's pretty small, so obviously the bigger ones were more expensive. That is everything I picked up at Hobby Lobby. And then I ran into Target just to check the dollar spot. Did I show you guys the pumpkins on my mantle that I got? I'm not sure if I did. I got lucky and I found some of the larger ceramic pumpkins. I'll show you after. And then this time I was able to find just two of the little small ones. Um, these are going to go on my mantle as well. So I will show you the other ones that I picked up from there when I show you what I do with these. We're still planning on taking that cabinet down that holds our cups in the kitchen. Um, I thrifted, I think I thrifted them. Yes, I'm pretty sure I thrifted them. 
they're like blue glass like these and they're a little bigger I have a set of four and I wanted um, smaller ones so I found these at Target and they're pretty much um, almost you know the same style same tinted blue glass that I love and these were actually on clearance for a dollar oh five each so I picked up the last four they had and these are gonna go on that um, when we take down the cabinet these are gonna go on the open shelving because I want all matching glasses no more thousand plastic cups I'm so tired of it this is not home to correlated but I thought I would include it because I love it and um, it's fall related, so why not? It's a coat. You're not going to be able to see what it looks like in this light. So right. I'm going to go ahead and try this on. And this was actually $44.99. Um, there was no cartwheel or anything, but I've been looking for like a faux leather jacket for so long. And I fell in love with this one. It's very comfortable too. And it doesn't feel like pleather, if you know what I mean. Okay, I realize you're not even going to be able to see what this looks like. I did take a picture in the store, so I will insert the picture. But I love this coat. It is really, really nice. Um, it feels really nice. It's obviously fake. Um, and I love this flap. Like I said before, I'm obsessed with pirates. I don't know why I love pirates. And I feel like I could live my best pirate life in this coat. So, um, I love this and not home decor related at all, but I thought I would show you. Last place I went was Home Goods near the Hobby Lobby that I go to. Um, there is the best Home Goods I've ever been to. So I need to go there every time. Um, I picked up these kitchen towels. I don't need any more kitchen towels, but I really love gray pumpkins. I don't know what it is. And I love like the watercolor look of these. So these are actually really thick. And it's a set of two, um, and they were $6.99. So these are really thick kitchen towels. So I picked those up. This is the next item I picked up from Home Goods. It's actually a metal um, sign. It's really heavy, and I want to put this either above our front door or above our porch side door. I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna have my husband um, see where it would, you know, where he can drill into. Um, I'm hoping it can go on top of the door, if not, maybe over the, um, the mailbox, but it is very heavy and it says home and it's gold. It's really cute. They had another one that said, um, exit, I think. I don't know, but I've seen other sayings and it was only $6.99. So I really liked that a lot. I was gonna get one at Hobby Lobby that said no soliciting and it was oval, it was metal like this one, like iron. Um, but I wanna get one off of Etsy that is like a funny saying. I've seen a lot on Etsy um, because I get so many solicitors, it's actually really annoying. And you guys know how antisocial I am if someone comes up to my door. You guys saw once that I hid. <laughs> so yeah, I really need a no soliciting sign but i want a cute funny so the last thing i picked up at home goods was this pumpkin patch sign i really don't need any more signs that say anything i have a lot but i love this one i love you know fall um and i thought it was really cute it looks like one of those ones you can get made off of etsy or you know a shop off of instagram i really like this one it was the only one that i saw this was 12.99 i'm not sure where i'm gonna put it yet but if I find a place um, before I edit this video, I will definitely show you. So I just wanted to include this because you probably were looking at it in the background and were like, what the heck is that? Um, when my husband and I went to Brimfield this past time, there was two women, I think there was two women, and they made um, chandeliers. They, um, what is it called? What is it called when you do this? <laughs> I can't think of it right now. Um, but they made chandeliers out of like metal strapping and there was um, like crystals hanging down on some of them and they had those Edison bulbs um, in them and they looked so amazing. I wanted to buy one for each room and Andrew was like, hey, I can make you one of those. And I was like, you can? This was a while. This was like over the summer that we went to or right before summer we went to Brimfield and um, he sent me a picture last night. Of this and I was like what is that like I, it looked bigger in the picture and then he brought it home and he was like it's like the chandelier and this is exactly what one of them looked like some of them were longer um, you know they kind of remind me of chandeliers from restoration hardware 
Um, and you know, you could put like multiple bulbs in there. We just have to drill the holes for the bulb to um, set in there. And I don't know if I want to add crystals like my chandelier, but it looks exactly the same. He, oh, welding, that's what it's called. <laughs> He welded it at work um, and it's, you know, it's pretty heavy. And when it's done, you know, it just hangs with an Edison bulb in it. And I'm very excited that he remembered this. Um, I don't know if it comes out good, then I will probably, we will probably start making them to sell in my space. Um, but I am very excited about how this is turning out. I think it's gonna look really great when it's done. So yeah, I wanted to include that because if you caught a glimpse of it in the background, you're probably like, what the heck is that? I almost forgot. I picked this blanket up where I work. Um, I love this blanket. It's obviously a fall blanket. It says big sweaters, bonfires, crunchy leaves, warm lattes, hay rides, and early sunsets. And it's so adorable. Um, the only thing I would change on it is cold lattes. <laughs> I like cold lattes. But anyways, it's so cute, and I just have it draped over the chair in my dining room. They had another one that said, um, in bigger letters, it says, every day I'm cuddling, which I might have to get that one, too, for my couch. So I put the welcome sign up. It's adorable, just like I thought. Um, the only thing is, the string wasn't long enough to go around my door knocker. So I had to kind of like tuck it under so hopefully it won't fall down. Um, but it stands out really cute, so it's cute. And then I put, I'll show you where I put the home sign. I just propped it up outside right here. So I'm gonna see what my husband can do. And if you follow me on Instagram, um, I changed my mantle. I know my Halloween stuff wasn't up for that long, but I lent out a lot of my Halloween decoration um, decorations to an event. Um, I kind of set up a table for this event and they're still using them. So I was like, okay, well I can't have an empty mantle and it was looking so sad. So I decided to pull stuff that I found. Um, these are the ceramic pumpkins that I was telling you about that I found at the Target dollar spot. Um, these were three dollars each and I picked up all the ones that they had. They had five of them. So these and that one and Then here's the, what I did with the little ones the Little baby one over there and then that big white pumpkin I showed you guys in my last video and that one in there um, from Target as well um, so this is my mantle now different than it was before. I know it was like the pirate theme, which I love, because you guys know I love pirates. Um, and I'm not too sure that I like that milk jug there, but for now. And then pumpkin patch sign to put there. So in my Instagram, I shared that I painted my gather my galvanized gather sign from Hobby Lobby. I painted it black. Um, I know a lot of these are all over Instagram, but it does stick out more on my wall being black, so... I think it looks much better. So that is my little fall mantle um, for now. <laughs> I stuck two pumpkins that I got at Hobby Lobby under my church pew. I was gonna put just the white one, but it needed something else. So I stuck the other larger one that I got under there as well. And then I just put the little one, I'll move you guys slowly so you don't get dizzy. I just put the other one um, right up on the shelf. I'm still styling this area. Um, so it's looking kind of blah, but that's where I put the other one. sign right here, but I'm thinking I might want to put it on that shelf I just showed you guys. So obviously I have a bunch of holes on this wall. You guys have seen that before. Um, but I think I'm going to move it. So this is what it looks like here. Um, and by the way, I also shared these on my Instagram, these candles. Um, the vendor is at where I, like, she's at where I work. These candles smell so good. And she says she's getting some Christmas scented ones on Friday. Oh my goodness. But this one smells like Christmas. It's called Beach Pines. It smells like a Christmas tree. So I got two of those and it smells amazing. But anyways, I'm going to move the sign and you can tell me wh where you like it better. I need to fix this wall. I'm thinking I want like a bigger, either a, um, like an old arch piece, an old decorative um, kind of architectural piece up there. Um, because obviously the sign is small. All right, so I think I answered my own question. I like it way better here. <laughs>
So let me back up so you can see what area this is. This is my church pew is here. And there's my vacuum cleaner. Um, yeah, looks really cute there. So I think I'm gonna keep it there. Answered my own question. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this frame yet. Um, this frame, I don't know if you guys remember, it was like, it looked like a window. So it had pieces of wood like that. So it looked like a four pane window. There was no glass in it. But I had my husband take it out because I like it better just looking like a frame. So that was just random, but. And there's the boring towel. <laughs> My counters are looking pretty boring lately, so this is like the majority of the Halloween decorations are in my kitchen I'm doing Halloween, so I think I showed you guys this. Um, it's just a bunch of random stuff, like nothing too crazy, so that's why I kind of wanted these towels as well, because they match. Um, and then over on these shelves, I just have a few things, nothing too crazy. Um, I don't love this at all, but... It's like what I had left over from the stuff that I let them borrow. And I'll show you the one other area that I have a Halloween decoration. Nope, I lied. I have um, a few things right here. That silhouette picture we got done in Disney World, I just think it's creepy. And it's Madison, obviously. Um, so I have a little Halloween here. I still have the two pillows over there. I kind of want to switch them out for like a, like a watercolor pumpkin pillow. I'm so basic, I know. And then behind my front door, I have this Halloween, which I kind of redid the stuff that was left over from the stuff I let them borrow. So yeah, it's a little bit sad that I don't have, you know, my whole house decked out in Halloween, but it's okay because I'm really loving all the neutrals and, um, you know, I think it's okay just to have a little bit and not go completely overboard so my house looks like Hobby Lobby, you know what I mean? And there's the little nugget. She's getting big. So that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoy this haul, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.